In this question, you are being asked what amount should be charged to the statement of profit and loss in the year ended 30th of June 20x9 for electricity. In order to calculate this, they have given us Rashid's electricity expense ledger account for the year ended 30th of June 20x9. And we can see that we have a prepayment brought forward for $550 cash paid for $5,400 and then an accrual carried forward for $650. To help us visualise what's going on, we can plot these transactions onto a timeline. Our year end begins on the 1st of July 20x8 and ends on the 30th of June 20x9. The first transaction we are given is a prepayment brought forward. This must have been our closing prepayment at the end of the previous year and so therefore would be released into the expense account this year at the beginning. The prepayment brought forward would have been a debit balance, and so therefore to release it, we would need to debit the electricity expense and credit prepayments to clear the balance. The next transaction that we look at is the cash paid for electricity during the year. This is the electricity expense that has been paid during the year, and so therefore the double entry would be to debit the electricity expense and credit cash or bank. The final transaction to review is the accrual carried forward. For there to be an accrual carried forward, there must have been some of the expense missing at the end of the year. And so therefore, if it was paid after the year end, we would need to bring it into our current year. To include the accrual, this would be a further increase to our expense account. And so we're going to debit our electricity and credit accruals. We can view these transactions in our electricity ledger account. Firstly, with the prepayment that was released, we said we would debit electricity with the $550. We then said that the cash paid would be included and we would debit electricity again, this time with the $5,400. Finally, we would include the accrual for the end of the financial year and we would include the $650 on the debit side. With all of our figures on the debit side, that total will come to 6,600. And so our transfer to the statement of profit and loss would be 6,600. And so to answer our question as to what amount should be charged to the statement of profit and loss for the year ended 30th of June, it should be our 6,600, which is the fourth option.